Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Casey Scanlon here. I want to talk to you today about the croaker from Bass Candy. It's getting to be the fall. Uh, fish are getting up shallow. They're getting real active. It's one of my favorite times to throw a topwater toad. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to fish. I throw this basically starting in the springtime when the water temperature hits about 55 degrees and I throw it all the way through November, December, you know, just depending on the weather around here. But this is a technique that a lot of people use uh, just around grass, um, areas with vegetation. Um, you know, it's kind of where this uh, bite originated at. But I'm telling you right now, you really don't need to have any grass around to throw this thing. I've caught them on uh, uh, rock, wood, uh, lay downs, uh, any kind of shoreline cover that's available, this is worth uh, giving a throw at. Um, this is a great bait for just covering water and it catches really big fish, one of my favorite top water lures. And I'm going to show you real quickly uh, just a few ways to rig it and uh, hopefully it'll help you have a little bit more success. Um, basically we're looking at the toad here, this is the top of the toad. Uh, if you look right here, it's kind of grooved up top here. Um, that's so you can slide your hook down through there and uh, cr creates a little uh, really weedless um, design there uh, and for, to put your hook in that slot there. Uh, looking, turning the frog over here, you see that uh, this is the bottom side of the frog. It has uh, water channels to help this thing swim through uh, the water real well, but uh, these water channels are on the bottom side of the bait. Uh, so basically, when you lay this bait on the water, the two eyes there will be kind of pointed downward, water channels facing downward, and this groove up top is where you're going to lay your hook. So basically, there's several ways to rig this. I like rigging it uh, with, the, with the double hook, just this toad hook. Basically, I'm just going to screw this in top of the bait, um, you just get it started right in the middle, you're going to screw that uh, screw lock down in there, five, six turns. I don't want to take the screw lock or the bait all the way to the tip of the screw lock. Uh, when I screw it down in there, I'm going to leave a little bit, that seems to let, let the bait swim a little bit more naturally. But basically I'm going to screw that on there, get it uh, on the right side here, and then I'm going to pinch these two hook points together a little bit. I'm going to go right on uh, either side of the water channel there, right in front of the V. I'm going to push them up through the bait, and then I'm going to just uh, tuck them back into the bait, uh, just on either side of that little groove right there. They hold the hooks real well. Uh, basically, you just want to make sure that these two are even and the hooks are pointed back in there and that's laying straight. It's a great, uh, my, my favorite way to rig it. Um, it seemed to get really good hookups with the double hook and it kind of keeps the bait uh, from rolling over and it keeps it, it really even uh, running through the water. Um, that's the way I like to do it. Uh, you can also rig it with a single hook. That's what most people do. Uh, I'll either use another one with the screw lock on it or um, I'll actually um, put just a, this is a Gamagatsu uh, extra wide gap. And what I'll do here is I'll take, uh, take the toad, I'll run a bead uh, down my braided line. I fish this on braid 99% uh, of the time, 50 pound maximum braid. I'm going to run the braid through there, uh, tie my braid onto uh, my EWG hook, and then I'm basically going to just take this, uh, just like I did with the front, start at the nose here, um, bring it out just above that water channel there, ride it back through the the frog there and then I'm gonna tuck this up single hook is gonna be right in the middle of that groove that's on top I tuck that back in there so it's weedless and basically uh, this bead is gonna be uh, riding in front of the frog it's gonna um, be sliding up and down your line but when you're reeling it it's gonna be pulled tight against the frog it's gonna help keep it more weedless it's uh, also gonna help keep the nose up on the bait let it ride a little bit better. Um, it's a really good trick there to get you a few more bites. Also, I got a little uh, plastic bullet weight here. It's not much weight. It's got the screw lock in it uh, around really heavy vegetation. I'll screw that into the top of the bait and fish that uh, extra wide gap hook with this uh, as well. But basically, I'll take this little um, deal, screw it into the top there. It's going to help keep some of the grass off it going to add a little bit of weight to it and uh, help keep that, that bait riding right in the water column. 
Uh, that's another good way to rig it. Uh, you can also put a real small, um, you know, if you're having trouble getting it through really, really thick vegetation, you can put a real small bullet weight uh, on there, something like a 16th or 132nd, that'll help it a little bit. And they also have these double hooks and uh, belly weighted hooks. So multiple ways of rigging this bait, uh, but this is uh, by far one of my favorite uh, toads, my, my favorite toad uh, on the market. I've used a lot of them. Um, a lot of them have different sounds, different actions. Some roll over, some stay straight. Uh, this one is pretty much the best of uh, both worlds there. It's, uh, it's not a real subtle presentation, real quiet, but it's not a real, real loud action. It's somewhere in between. Uh, it's got a great sound to it. It's a really unique sound. I think that has a lot to do with the triggering abilities of the bait, um, but, but the bass ab absolutely go crazy for it. Uh, it also uh, you know, has, a, has a great action. It's not, it's not really, really subtle. Um, but it's not, not too much action. So it comes through the water column real well, um, uh, top of the water, sneaks up on the bass, and they really love it. So give the bass candy croaker a try, and I'm sure you're going to catch more fish. Thanks.